one of the nice things about Google is its built-in developer tools. So I'm going to show you real quick how these work. First we'll do a quick code walkthrough and then I'll show you how to use the developer tools as well as some of the common error messages that you're going to encounter. So I've opened up the, the program debugdemo.html and it's just a standard web page and inside of the head, here's our head, we've set up a function called display hello. Now I've written this out in maybe more detail than I need to and I have lots of comments so learn how to read the green. But you can see it basically I write out uh, uh, hello JavaScript on the screen and then I set up a variable called this name and then on line 33 we prompt the user and ask for their name and we give uh, a default value so all we as we develop all we have to do is hit enter it'll save us a lot of typing time once the user types this in and hits enter that's stored in our brand new variable this name and then we print it out. We say hello to the person's name. Enjoy your JavaScript journey. Now, when the browser first loads this page, it takes this function, display hello, and it puts it up in temporary memory. So you can kind of think of it, of the browser using it as short-term memory. It doesn't run this code. It just holds it up in memory. All right, then we go down here. I decided to make the page a little nice to look at, so I added some styling in here. So here's our styling. We styled the body, the H1. And then we come to our, our regular page. So this is what's going to display on the actual web page, everything that's inside the body tag. It's always a good idea to put something on the page. So I always put a H1 in and describe what the page is doing. And uh, you can see also I put in a paragraph. Now, right in the middle of our body, we called the script engine again and told the browser, okay, put your JavaScript on. And we, with one line, we called the function that we had earlier put in temporary memory. So what the browser is going to do is it's going to display this H1, the paragraph, and then it's going to jump up and run the code that we had already done for display hello. So it's going to run up here to display memory and go through these steps right here that are inside the curly braces. So let's take a look at that. We'll jump over to Google, Google Chrome. We'll run our page and here you can see that it went in and, and prompted us. So we can just hit enter and it printed out Sally Johnson. Now if we run this again we can put something in here, Joe Smith, and you can see it automatically changes it. Now if we want to see what, more of the details what's happening, we can use Google Chrome. We can go into View, Developer, Developer Tools, and you can see the shortcut here. Now this opens up a whole new window down below, and we can either look at our elements, but what we're concerned about is our scripting. So we're going to go into our JavaScript. We can also look at our console. And this is going to show us any errors. Let's go back to our script. So we can use our script tag. And down here at the bottom, you can see this little mark down here. This will show the console. So we can open and close the console as we want to. Now, everything's working really well. so. Let's go in and introduce some errors. I'm going to go back to my text. And one of the most common errors that's going to happen to you is you're going to leave out the concatenation operator. You're going to leave out that plus sign. And what this does is it glues together this string that prints out hello as well as what's ever inside this variable. So we're going to just take that out and see what happens. Do a save. Go back to Google. Do a control R for refresh. And you can see we have an error here, uncaught syntax error, unexpected identifier. And if we look all the way over here, we can see that it's on line 35. If we click on that link, it takes us right into our code and shows us what's wrong. Now often this will give you a different point of view and you'll be able to see, oh, I missed the plus sign in there. 
Also, if you look down the right-hand corner, you'll see that there's two errors here. Now, when there's an error in a function, the whole function is, is invalid. So that's what's causing our second here, error here. It says uncaught reference display hello is not defined. That's because if there's a syntax error, the browser ig ignores that function and does not handle it. And you can see if we go down here on 27, it's calling display hello and it says I don't know where display hello is because the browser doesn't ID identify it right away. So let's go fix our error. Go back and rerun our program and you can see everything is good. Now another error that's going to happen is you're going to forget a quotation mark. And you can see here that we have to put quotations around our strings and then here we glue in with the plus concatenation operator. We glue in the variable and then we glue in another string. So if you miss out that second quotation then it's going to break everything. Now notice as I do that, notice how the color coding changes on my code. But if you don't see that right away, you'll get an error like this. And the error is uncaught syntax error, unexpected token illegal. Well, that's a pretty nasty sounding error, but it basically means that you left out your, your quote someplace on this line. Often you can also look at the lines before and the error might be up a line or two above where the error message is because the browser just isn't smart enough to know that it's not on this line, it's caused on a previous line. So let's go in and fix that again. Put our quote back in, do a save, and now our program runs as it should. One last error that I'll show you that's really, really common with new programmers is not paying attention to upper lower case. So up here we created a function called display hello with a capital H. But by the time they got down here where they called that function, they forgot to capitalize the H, so we said display hello. And when we run this, it says uncaught reference error display hello is not defined. Now, this is really similar to that first error that we had, but it's all by itself, and this is, and you can see the line here, and the, the key is when you get this error all by itself with no other errors, then most likely it's up, up at the top, and you probably misspelled it. A lot of programmers, what they'll do is they'll copy go back to the code, they'll copy this function like this and then they'll come down here and they'll paste it. That way they know that the, the name is spelled correctly and there we should show that everything works. So to summarize, to view your console you go view developer, developer tools. You can also go over here on the wrench and when your developer tools come open click on the scripts tab and click on this symbol right down here to open and close your error console. And keep your eyes down here in the corner to see if you have any errors.